hey guys so no makeup but that's okay y'all don't come here to see me like that but I decided to do this was from a trip with my friend to Hobby Lobby and I've been wanting to do envelopes in my bullet journal like I mean there were these books whenever I was growing up like I think there was like a wizardology one and different books like that and they had like these little envelopes throughout and like you'd open the envelopes and read the little information in it and it was like it was like an adventure book the act of reading the book was an adventure and I just I really liked that idea and I was like man what can I do for my bullet journal to put little envelopes stick them into my bullet journal so I made this template and I used dotted bullet journal paper there will be close-up pictures of this I will include so you can get the dimensions just right uh, I will say that when I'm making a template you cut right on the pencil like make the template a chance but smaller um, that because you want to cut on your pencil more comfortably when you are cutting them out and what I like about having a template is that you can move it across and see hmm, can I get another envelope right here now nah, you can't take it off the page so I was able to get as many envelope templates out of my paper as possible now this is a really fun little like pearlescent like swirl and I like it because it will match and I'm doing all 12 oh wait I didn't tell you what they were for yet let me not spoil it so what I like about this is that it would match any theme that I'm going for you know right now it is December and this is like my current thing for December with the sparkly mushy teeth and it will match I have one made up right here in the pearlescent and like just look how cute and tiny it is this one's already glued and everything and it's perfect and I'm going to put it right here right there and what I plan to do every month I'm going to have my word of the month it's going to be like a mantra you know what do I want to embody about this word now you're gonna have to find your own words I don't even know what word I'm gonna put in here I just got really excited to make tiny envelopes and put them in my bullet journal so maybe you'll think of something clever I haven't yet but I'm excited I'm feeling feeling the rush but I did go ahead and cut out the cardstock that will go inside all of these right here and there's a little surprise for yourself you know whenever you look back you're like hmm, what was my word of the month and you just open it up out of your paper it's so beautiful I love it and um, anyway yeah so basically I have one right here it's not very difficult to find templates online and I'm going to provide you with my bullet journal size envelope there's tons of videos on making envelopes so I'm not sure that I really want to do a whole video on envelopes themselves this is the template but I will go ahead and my desk is super messy but you'll love it I have a few tips for making your own envelopes one whenever you do your template cut right on the pencil make your template a teeny bit smaller and then whenever you're cutting them out you'll also cut on the pencil and they will all be perfect and same now we have right here our template and what I do is I take my ruler right here gosh I should get one of those fancy little things that like look above me or something I don't know I'm not investing that much though this is for fun so you're gonna take your envelope and you're gonna fold it over like this I like to use my ruler to make sure that I have a perfect straight edge for my envelope and then we're gonna go we're gonna I love these nails ah oh, yes who needs a crease folder thing also you can use your ruler but I did find in Hobby Lobby that they had like paper creasers that were pretty ergonomic and look pretty cool but that's why we have claws and rulers so the other side and just fold it over it might look a little cattywampus, but that's okay because we're not aiming for perfection here. Perfection 
gives us anxiety. It gives me anxiety anyway. So I am not aiming for perfection. I am aiming only for cute, tiny little envelopes that serve my purpose of being cute and tiny. That's what I tell myself when they turn out cattywampus. So perfect. And then the top, fold it down. And look, it's still as beautiful as the others, even though it looks a teeny bit cattywampus on the inside, but no one's going to see that but you. Maybe, unless someone reads your diary. Okay, so here I like to glue my envelopes, and I just put, I put a dot here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I put a dot here and here. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh my god, that was a huge dot. I made a mistake. Oh my god, it's so huge. So what I do to make sure that I don't get glue on the inside of the envelope and just glue the whole thing together and like fuck it up, I push my finger down the middle and I squeeze out. Since I know I put a bunch of glue on this side and you can see it oozing. Oh god, it's so disgusting. So we're just gonna wipe that off with our fingers and wipe it on our pants because we're disgusting. It's okay. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're just going to push it to the other side. Now, if you want to use tape, that would be a lot less messy, <laughs> I'm sure. And I really like this pearlescent, like, it's cardstock. I got it from the cardstock aisle at Hobby Lobby. I don't personally enjoy shopping at Hobby Lobby, but, you know, for their not buying birth controls for the employees' reasons, but... They just got good paper. And that's as simple as that. Now you've got your perfect thing. And as well, because I'm extra, as well as making my envelope template, this is back to the template, I also made a letter template so that I would know, okay, this will definitely fit in there. If I draw around this piece of paper on my cardstock and cut it out, it will fit inside the envelope every time. And I won't have to trim it, I won't have to do any of the little extra things, and I have an envelope for every month of next year. This is something that I am going to start doing, and I will have the word of the month. Now, I'm also thinking of new and exciting ways to incorporate the envelopes into my bullet journal, and I do have extra space right here that is just, I don't know what to put there. So I can put little like affirmations. I might put affirmations or I might put a let go thing and different people uh, who have hurt me. I let out my anger. I write whatever I think they are to me. You know, um, like whether you're an alcoholic piece of shit, you know, and just let it go. Pretend that that is an envelope that I'm going to mail to them. Obviously, there's not a lot of space here, but I don't have a lot of people who have abused me that much that I'm still holding on to. Uh, you know, like, err. But just a few things, you know, and just put how I really feel about that person and let it be negative because it's all going to be hidden in a pretty little envelope and I'm not going to see it every time I open this page. It will be hidden from me and if I want to look at it I can choose to open the envelope or I could choose to let go. Like how I did that. Oh, so clever, so clever. Well I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Until next time. But also if you have any unique ideas uh, for whatever you want to use these envelopes for, like share them in the comments, share the wealth, share the knowledge. Like if you have an idea, I love ideas. And if your idea is good enough, maybe I'll steal it from you. Careful. <laughs> Bye.